Hi, welcome to a series of videos on graph analytics. So what is graph analytics? It basically refers to the process of analyzing data in a graph format using data points as nodes and relationships as edges. This leads to a question as to what exactly is a graph. Graph is nothing but a collection of points which are termed as vertices and lines between those points which are termed as edges. Now graph allows users to model data based on relationships. There are several potential use cases for graph analysis. In this video, I'm going to focus on the shortest path algorithm of graph analytics. This algorithm helps to find the shortest path between a pair of vertices in a given graph. Now there is a huge logistic company that has established various warehouses all across the country. And this data set has all the relevant information about the various routes between these warehouses. At the source name and the number for the source warehouse, similarly the name and number for the destination warehouse, along with the time it takes to reach from source to destination along with speed and distance. There are a total of 562 unique source warehouses, a total of 633 unique destination warehouses, and total of 1809 routes between those various warehouses. Now the first thing that I would like to do is to view this graph in a visualization. So I'm gonna go into the Viz tab and bring in and this custom visualization. This is a custom visualization and can be downloaded from the Oracle Analytics library. So I'm going to create a new canvas and drag in the visualization. So it asks for the source and destination and I'm going to bring in those two columns and this should plot the graph of the warehouses. Okay, so the graph has been plotted and when I zoom out a bit, I could see all the warehouses getting plotted as blue dots and the lines that exist between these blue dots are the actual routes between a given pair of warehouses. Now I would like to use the linked length to actually space out all these warehouses based on the distance. Okay, so the graph has been rendered. So let's go and enable the labels on these nodes. Okay, so now there is a shipment that I need to transport from warehouse BURA, which is found here, to the warehouse UB. Now, I need to find the shortest path by distance. Now, we are going to see how graph analytics on OAC is going to make it super easy for the user to find out the shortest path between a pair of vertices in a graph. Let's create a data flow and let's bring in the graph demo data set. Okay, and then if you click on add step, you should see a new node that appears in your Dataflow UI called the graph analytics. Since graph analytics happens in the database, we need to make sure the source data set also happens to reside in the same database. So I'm going to click on graph analytics and it shows the various operations that are supported in the graph analytics. For now, we are going to click on the shortest path. And there is a warning that's being displayed just to make sure that the database parameter of the max string size should be set to extend it. This is necessary for the graph operations to work. So let's hide the output columns for now and let's look at the parameters. So basically it asks for a source column or a column which represents all the source vertices and I'm going to click on source and similarly a destination column so and a weight column. So now I need to find the shortest path by distance. So I'm going to choose the distance as a metric here. Now these three inputs are very necessary in order to build the graph. And it asks for the source vertices. In our case, it's going to be BURA and the destination is going to be UB. And you can add reference columns to your output data set, but for now I'm not going to use it. So if you look at the output, there's going to be a path sequence which numbers the path in the shortest path from your source to destination. And then of course there is a source, destination, weight, and I'm going to remove all the reference columns. And there is also another column called path attribute. We're going to see uh, in this video as to how this is going to come in handy to visualize the shortest path in the bigger graph network. I'm going to click on save data. I'm going to go save this. And I want to give the same name to the table as well. The path sequence, I would want it to be an attribute. Source, destination, weight, and similarly path attribute is an attribute. So I'm going to run the data flow. Let's give it a name. Okay, the data flow is saved and it's now executing the data flow. It generally takes roughly around 30 to 40 seconds for the data flow to complete. Okay, so the data flow has successfully completed. Now let's go and check the output data set. 
So this is the output data set and let's create a project using the same. As mentioned, it has path sequence, source, destination, weight, and path attribute. Now let's view this in form of a table to get an understanding. Okay, so there are basically 10 paths in order to start from the source warehouse BURA in order to reach the destination warehouse UB. And all these 10 paths are numbered using the path sequence. And each path has a source and destination with the weight. Weight signifies the distance between the source warehouse and destination warehouse. Let's see how we can join this data set back with our original data set. Let's see how we can plot the shortest path in that particular visualization. So now the first step is to join this back with the original data set called graph demo. Now we have in the base data set graph demo. Now we need to make sure that the joins are perfect. Okay, so it's being joined by the source and destination columns, which is great. Now I go back to visualize and let me create another canvas. Okay, so let's bring back our original visualization, which has all the warehouses plotted on the network visualization and also spaced out by the distances. Okay, so now let's bring this path attribute and add it to the link color. Now, if you look into detail, there is actually a blue color. If I zoom in, you can see that there is a blue color that's getting applied as the color to the shortest path. And this starts from our source BURA and ends in UB. So in order to give it a different color, let's go into the visualization property and add a red color to the link series one property. Okay, so now the graph has rendered completely and you can see that Red color is being applied to edges on which the shortest path lies. So it starts from source warehouse called BURA and it says follow this red trail in order to find the shortest path and to reach destination warehouse which is UB. So actually started with a huge number of warehouses getting plotted on a visualization. Then we were able to apply the shortest path graph analytics algorithm in a given pair of vertices. And we were able to successfully plot them the same visualization using the output data set that was created using the data flow. Thanks for watching the video.